Um, it's finally here. I, have y'all been talking about SECs and being in New Orleans? It's basically it's like it's your backyard. And, you know, it's you have a lot of fans there. You know, what's the excitement been like building for for, for this meet? Other than the fact that it's it's a huge meet on the schedule and a championship y'all want to go for. I think we've been looking forward to this meet pretty much all year, and since we've known that it was going to be in New Orleans, um, looking back, I think you know it's been one step at a time. But now that we're finally here, I think all of our focus is going into this week. Like this entire year, we've been preparing. Like all of this is typically like practice for what we want to do this Saturday, and so I think we've done a great job preparing for it, and we're really excited to be able to perform in you know our hometown or our backyard, like you said. Yeah. Uh, Haley, I guess just just um, something hit me in the post me interview session before, and both y'all, you can, we'll start with Haley. Just um, Kai's injury last year, and, and the resiliency that the team showed. Is that where you guys feel like this team kind of evolved to what it is this year? I definitely think it's a small part, definitely, because last year obviously we had so much adversity that we had to go through, and we really kind of had to test that and Jay always says you honor somebody with your actions and I feel like that's something we held on to even this year because we have people this year that can't contribute in the ways they would like to be contributing right now but we're honoring them with our actions and we're doing everything for them because they want the best for us and we're going to give them what we have. Wait, could you kind of comment on it? Yeah, just to kind of follow what Haley said, our team still this year is going through a lot of adversity and you know some things you do see and some things that you don't and so I think we're taking what we've learned last year and what kind of worked for us last year and we're probably getting into this season so there's not as I guess you could say adversity this year but you know there's still this stuff from you know the day to day to what our weeks look like and so really just using what we learned from last year and using that like Haley said you know we honor people with our actions and so continuing to push that into this season as well has definitely been working for us. Haley, some, some athletes are numbers people, some are not. Um, you know, are you someone who looks at the stats a lot? And have you noticed that your stats have been incredibly consistent this year? I don't want to jinx you by yeah, saying yeah. how many 9-9 pluses mm -hmm. you've gotten in a row. But, but I mean, is that something that, scoring is subjective, but, yeah. but it, it, it's an indication of the, how the season has gone for you. How, how, mm -hmm. do you. how do you think you've done this year? Um. I don't really look at the stats too much, I would say, but like I definitely am a score watcher during like the competition. Like I'm seeing the scores that are coming up. I'm not like thinking too much about them, but I'm definitely keeping my eye on them. Um, I don't know. I feel like this year I really just was trying to enjoy the whole entire experience and not worry about the scores, not worry about the outcome, just doing my gymnastics for my team and enjoying this year just because I feel like We've all gone through so much from my freshman year to my senior year, and I feel like this year I just wanted to enjoy it, and the results are going to play out. And if we do what we do, and if I do what I do every single day in the gym, out on the competition floor, then the results are going to play out just like they should. Aliyah, that was your first time in the all-around on Friday this season, right? Yes, correct. And that's kind of a contrast to last year where the two of you were constantly doing all four events every time you guys took the floor. Sorry, <laughs> Take your time. Damn, I wish I had that on camera. <laughs> I, was like, oh, I was like, it's coming towards us. So sorry. <laughs> Is it gone? I think so. I'm that way. Okay, cool. I, I think kind of what I'm looking for is like, there's been a lot of change in the lineup because of the depth that you guys had. and Now you finally have that opportunity to do the all-around. Where do you feel like your guys' lineup is at a whole in your eyes? You know, I don't really have too much to say about lineups because that's not my choice and that's not, you know, my decision overall. But I really just want to help the team contribute in any way I can, whether that's one event, whether that's four events. And, you know, it's it felt really great to be back out there in all four events. But, of course, you know, ultimately I just want to do what I can for the team. You guys had a great season last year. Um, this year, trying to take it a step further, especially the postseason. What do you think separates a team being a finalist versus a national champion? I feel like the mindset's going to be the number one thing that sets everybody apart because you're going to be there for a reason. The gymnastics is there. Obviously, you're there because your gymnastics is what it is. So it's going to come down to whose mindset's the strongest on the final day and who can handle the pressure of 
kind of just looking around and being like, okay, we're competing for a national championship right now, and not making it more than it has to be, because obviously when you compete at a big stage like that, you want to kind of try to press a little bit more, you want to be perfect, and then those are obviously the things that are in your head, but I think on that final day, it's kind of just going to be like, do your normal gymnastics and the mindset of, yeah, just normal. Um, okay? Oh, I was just going to kind of add on to what Haley was saying. Absolutely, I think the mindset has everything to do with it because, you know, everyone has the same skills relatively, but it's who can hit one and who is going to show up on that specific day. I'm just curious for both of you. We'll start with Lee. Just how do you look at the uh, championship down in New Orleans? Because it doesn't really count for, you know, your big goals, but it's still something you, you try to pour everything into, or do you really try to, how do you look at it? I think this was definitely one of our number one goals coming into the season. This is something that we want. This is something that we've had our eye on. And like I said before, you know, we were really just taking it one step at a time, but ultimately here, and this is where our mindset is. And we're going to go in there, you know, full speed ahead and ultimately let the cards lay. Yeah, definitely. Not making it more than it has to be. Obviously starting on vault something we're really excited about. I've never started on vault <laughs> since I've been here, so we're really, really excited on that. Get started on the right note, start fast, finish strong. and. Ending on floor in New Orleans is going to be so much fun. It's something we've definitely thought about, and we're just really excited, but not making it more than it has to be, and just taking it like one more competition and one step in the right direction for the other goals we have ahead. How important is that to you? Is it, is it a calming effect when you get to start on Um, Obviously, it really shouldn't matter where you start. You should be able to have the same mindset, but I feel like starting on vault is something that's very good. I feel like because we do it at home, and it's got to kind of feel like a home atmosphere, starting on vault, going out the quarter. Yeah. I feel like we're just really excited. For you personally, though? Is yeah, it? for sure. I'm very excited to start on ball. <laughs> very excited because you can do, you get to end on floor. And the past SEC championships, we started on bars and had to end on vault, which is a fast event. So you kind of just sit there and wait yeah. and look around. But this year, we get to probably be the last team to finish on floor. So it's going to be something really exciting. Although the new format. That is true. We do have a new format. <laughs> Lee, same thing. Just starting on vault. Is that? Is that? Give you a comfort level? I think more just the fact that we have placed ourselves, you know, as a number one seed going in, like that in itself has given us the confidence that we need to, you know, just head into this with, you know, our head up and all the confidence in the world going into this event. It's not necessarily like, oh, like we're starting to involve and like blowing it up more than it should be, but it's just the fact that, you know, we've worked hard to be where we are in this position and so we're going to take every advantage of that. Talked a lot about mindset there, especially what separates teams. Um, are there things you learned from last year that have been in a better spot maybe this season? I think our biggest takeaway from last year is really just leaning on each other. You know, last year, like like we said, we faced a lot of adversity, and you know, this year we learned to just lean on each other during those times, and you know, we're leaning on each other even now to still be able to continue for our goals. Coaches have been able to set up the schedule. We all know we're at home. We went to the River Center for a podium meet, which is aside from having to take cars instead of a bus, was not bad. You finished at home. Now, now you're just going down the road to, to New Orleans. Hey, just talk about how you, the preparation and the, the run of this. Could you, is this about as comfortable a spot, uh, about as well prepared and rested, if I can use that word, as you could hope to be going into something uh, this big of a meet? Um. Yeah, I definitely think it was in our. It was an advantage, kind of staying at home for a while because obviously traveling's very exhausting, like getting on a plane, getting back late. So I think this is something that really is kind of set us best up for success because we've gotten a lot of rest, two-day weekends. So it's just been really, really good, and I feel like it's going to set us up for success.